Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make rye lysine. But before I do that, I'd like to show you what rye lysine is and explain to you what it can be used for. So this is rye lysine. There we go. And with rye lysine, it, you can coat cakes. You can pipe on cakes, you can pipe on biscuits, you can make flowers with it, you can make runners with it. It's so versatile. It, um, it's a wonder, wonderful medium to work with. Okay, so what ingredients do we need? So just cover that up, put it to one side, and we'll come back to that. The ingredients we need is ice and sugar. So I've got here silver spoon ice and sugar. Silver spoon's really good for making rye icing. You can get a finer ice and sugar than this. It's called bride cake ice and sugar from specialist shops and um, companies, um, which is finer. But this, this does really well. It gives you a very good um, royal icing. It's quite a big bag. Now these are three kilo bags, but you, what you can do, you can buy it in small boxes. Um, the other thing I'm going to use is a powdered egg white. Now, traditionally, royal icing is made out of egg white. But because of convenience, storage, this is a make of Mary White that we use, and it's a powder. So I'll just show you what it's like. So it's a powder. You can make rye icing with it. You can also make meringues with it as well. And so, but there are different eggs, um, rye icing egg white substitutes that you can use on the market. So you just need to find a good one. Um, this is a Mary White, it's, um, it's one of the best. Um, and the other thing I need is water. Okay. Equipment, palette knife, jug, bowl, and I'm going to use a sieve today. Damp cloth and cling film. Okay, so what do I do first? First of all, I need to make sure that all my equipment, my bowl, my, my jug, my bowl, my sieve, my palette knife, everything I use, and this is so important, is grease free. So what I tend to do is give it an extra wash, or make sure it's been in the dishwasher, um, so it comes out and there's no grease on the equipment. Now, if you're using a plastic bowl, um, you can use plastic, but only if that bowl has been used for rye lysine. Don't use it for buttercream first and then rye lysine. It's so important that our rye lysine is kept grease free. If it's, um, well, I'll explain in a little while what happens if it's not. So first of all, I'm going to, to mix the, the Merry White with the water. So I've got the Merry White here, the powdered egg white. Just, I'm going to do one to four. So one spoon of Mary White and four of water. So I've got my water. Just checking you can see me. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now the reason we're going to make this rye icing by hand is that it's very important that you um, learn the feel of the rye icing. Later on we will make it by machine. I'll just get a, a whisk to whisk that up. You think you've got everything and then there's always something you forget. There we go. So I'm going to whisk the Mary White and the water. Now this amount looks small but it makes quite a bit. Now ideally I'd leave that 20 minutes so that all those that Mary White the powder will dissolve into the water. But sometimes you haven't got time. So what can you do? You can sieve it. So the sieving it will, will just catch any lumps because those lumps can block your piping tubes. Okay, and I'll see you use it as much as you need to make. Okay. 
So I've now got my mail right in my water. As I say, try and leave it to dissolve. Icing sugar. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to wear my icing sugar. And sometimes this worries people. But what I want you to do is get the feel of the icing, royal icing. Um, and I could say, oh, you need so many grams of um, icing sugar in with this. But you, you might find that um, you don't quite, quite need that amount. So you can say I'm mixing it through. Now, if the icing sugar isn't freshly opened, then you probably don't need to sieve it. But it depends how the icing sugar's been stored. If it's an old packy, um, it might be a little bit lumpy. So sieving the icing sugar might be a good idea. But we find at college, because we use so much icing sugar, that the icing sugar is very fresh, it comes in um, weekly, and as soon as you open the pack, you tend to use, um, use it, it's not stored open. So, just add the icing sugar until that royal icing becomes a little bit on the stiff side. Now that looks looking quite good actually. So you can see there, it's just that little bit firmer now. And what I need to do at this stage is put the air into it. And I need to work at this quite a lot. So I need to mix this dry icing. Now you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's quite heavy. It looks quite yellowy. So what I need to do is incorporate air into it. And I need to stand here a good 10 minutes to mix this brown icing and you'll find your arm aches but just keep going. I'm continually scraping down the sides of the bowl because all this royal icing up here will start to crust over and then it can form lumps in my cheeks. Okay, so I've got one that I've already mixed. So I'm going to cover this one in cling film so that it doesn't skin over. Put it to one side. Right, so this one here, I've mixed already. So instead of wasting your time, you can see that now it's become a lot lighter in colour. I can mix it easily. And that's all the air that's in there. Actually, what I'll do, I'll compare the two and you can see the difference. Okay, you can definitely see a colour difference. And you can see that this one that's not got enough air in is very wet looking. This one's quite dry looking. Let's keep my table clean as I go. That's what you need to get used to doing. Right, so let's have a look at this dry icing. If it's a bit soft for what I'm going to use it for, then I can add a little bit more Merry White to it. And the Merry White that I use will be fine. Don't be tempted to add water, just plain water. Because if you add water to it, it'll weaken that Merry White um, solution. So the egg white solution. So what we need to do is just add Merry White, mix Merry White and not just plain water. Um, if it's a little bit too um, soft, then we can add more icing sugar. And you'll find that if you make it fresh, now this is quite fresh, after a few hours it will tend to go a little bit flat. So you just need to stand there and beat it up again. You might need a little bit more icing sugar. But you always, whenever you're working with oil icing, you're looking for the right consistency. And this is the right consistency for piping. Can you see how it's holding its peak? So it's not too firm, but it's holding that shape. So I can pipe with that. Um, and because it's holding its shape, it'll hold the shape of whatever I'm going to pipe with. There's different consistencies. So this is um, piping consistency. 
If you're coating a cake, you'll need um, soft consistency or soft peak consistency. So that means instead of forming a peak, it just flops over a little bit. But we'll come to that when you come to coating your cakes. But this is perfect for piping. Now what else can I add to it? Now while I'm talking, this is going to go dry. So I've got a clean cloth here and I'm just going to put cloth over it. As I'm working with it, I'll always have a damp cloth over it and that stops the around the edges drying out. Um, so what, what can we also add to this to improve it? Well, we can add food colour. So food colour will colour it. Yeah, so that will be nice and um, easy. But also, if I put this straight onto a cake, it will dry very hard. And if I want to um, be able to cut the cake easily and to eat it nicely, um, I'll need to add something to it. And that's something called glycerine. Glycerine you can buy in the, the chemist, you can buy in the shop, supermarkets. Um, and you just add a teaspoon of, of glycerine to this mixture, mix it in, and that's great because when you come to cut your cake, you'll be able to take the knife through. With um, some people um, want it to dry hard. So if you want it to dry harder, you can put a little bit of lemon juice in it. Okay. If you make your rye icing with egg white, you'll see that it's a little bit more yellowy, but that's fine, there's no problem there. How to store the rye icing? Right, so if I'm going to work on it, as I say, a nice damp cloth as I'm working on it. But if I don't want it for a few hours or even overnight, I would first of all put a piece of cling film over it. I would then put the damp cloth on. Now the cling film stops the moisture from the cloth affecting the rye icing. I would then put another piece of cling film over that. So the cling film there is stopping the cloth drying out. And then I'd put it in a plastic bag. And that would be okay for a few hours. It would be all right overnight or even for a few days. The consistency will change. So when you take it out and, and use it, you'll need to then put air into it or I put a little bit more rice and sugar in to get it back to that piping consistency. The longer you leave it, the, the more the consistency and the quality of the rye icing will deteriorate. So it is always better to use it fresh. I don't need to put this in a uh, fridge. There's no need to put it in a fridge. I can just leave it out. Um, and all this wrapping just stops it going dry. Anything else I need to talk to you about? Um, you can put it in a Tupperware container, a, a plastic box with an airtight lid. The only problem with that is that it, there can be um, a little bit of grease in the plastic similar to the bowl that I was explaining to you about. If you was going to um, use plastic container just for icing, sure, royal icing, nothing else, then that's fine. But um, it's difficult to get a plastic container grease-free. And that's the, really the key, that grease-free. As soon as you put grease or any sort of grease and really small into this royal icing, it will get very heavy. You won't be able to put air into it. It will look very similar to this. It won't dry out. You won't have that dry look where this has a shiny look. That's what will happen when you've got rye icing with a little bit of grease in. You've just got to throw it away. There's just no way around it. You can't do anything with it. It also will not dry hard. It won't set. Okay. All right. So that's how you make rye icing. Um, and on another video I'll show you how to make rye icing using a machine.